What are the pros and cons of living in Miami? Take it from me, I've been here for over 30 years. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, I'm Angie Blanco, a realtor here in Miami, Florida with One Path Realty. And today we are talking about the pros and the cons of living in Miami, Florida. I have been here my entire life, over 30 years, so I've seen its growth, I've seen its change, and I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. We'll start with the cons to end on a good note on the pros. So the first con being the traffic. And yes, I know that you're hearing this everywhere. It's all true. The traffic here is horrible, especially within the rush hour windows, and especially more so if you you're living in the city center or in the hub of Miami like Brickell, downtown, places like these where they're very condensed and so you're gonna feel the traffic a lot worse in these areas than you would in areas a little more suburban like Homestead or the Redlands and places like this. Now there is a side note because you have to know how to drive in Miami. You have to know the hours to drive and the streets and the roads and things like this. For example, I take the turnpike everywhere, but I don't drive during rush hour traffic if I don't need to. Sometimes I need to, so I'll stick it out. But if I have the option of driving whenever, I'll take the turnpike and I won't drive in rush hour traffic. Simple as that. The next con I would say are all the tropical critters that sneak into your house sometimes. It's bad enough that they're out in the streets or in your backyard or things like this, but once they get into your house, it's kind of like invasive and I don't like that very much. So some of these tropical critters can include palmetto bugs, also known as cockroaches. Yeah, that's just a very nice name for them. Another thing are termites. We have fire ants, we have little spiders, even lizards that crawl in, but I feel so bad for the lizards. I always pick them up and I take them outside. They're not all bad though. We also have a bunch of beautiful butterflies, dragonflies and things like this. So yeah, the majority I would say are not too pleasant, but some of them are very beautiful. So they're not all bad. The third con I would say is hurricane season. So this goes from about June until about November and it could get pretty scary. I mean, we've had some bad hits in the past. Luckily, it's not too often and it's not the most common thing that a hurricane will hit us. We'll usually just get, you know, strong winds and a lot of rain, but it'll usually, you know, hit us as a tropical storm, which I thank God for that. But if you've lived here long enough in Miami, you know, it doesn't really phase you anymore too much because you do the bare minimum to become prepared, but then you're ready for it to just kind of die off because it happens so often. One more con and then I'm getting straight into the pros. So the last one I'm gonna mention today is the higher cost of living. Houses here are cost more, rent costs more, groceries are more expensive than other places in the US. But I think that comes with also a counterbalance, which is that prices also appreciate much faster here. Rents increase. So landlords, if you've got properties, you know that each year you can charge a little more for rent and then groceries, your income also increases yearly. So I think it kind of balances it out. But in general, yes, we do have a higher cost of living. But I think this just comes with the opportunity of being able to live in a beautiful city like Miami. We're a big city like New York and Los Angeles, but with a much nicer climate, much nicer surroundings, and much nicer everything. Moving on into the pros, my favorite part. I'm so done with talking about those bad things about my beautiful city. Let's get straight into it. First pro is the weather. I love this weather. It's hot, it's humid, it's tropical. It's sunny, sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's a little bit of both. You've heard of Miami bipolar weather. It literally is like that, but the good part about it is that it's summer mostly all year round. We have one or two months that are a little colder and then we've got a couple nights literally a handful of a colder front coming from the north or wherever so that's all the cold weather you have to deal with here and i love that because i'm super tropical i say that my blood is too thin for cold weather whenever it's cold my fingernails literally turn purple and i just can't stand it so that's why i love this hot humid miami weather Next pro is definitely the diversity. And I'm talking about the people, the food, the events, the festivals we have here. Like everything is so diverse. Some people say that Miami doesn't even seem like it's part of the US and I totally agree. That's really what makes Miami just an international hub for everything. And I feel that that's what makes Miami, Miami. There's always something to do. There's always a new food to try or a new spot to check out. We're gonna have the Ultra Music Festival again, which is an internationally known music festival. We've got a food and wine festival on Miami Beach. We have Art Basel, which is this amazing art 
experience in the Wynwood area. We've even got boat shows, car shows, and there's a reason why they always come to Miami. There's so many different types of people here that those type of events always do well. And out of the very many, many other pros that Miami, beautiful Miami offers, the last one I'm gonna be mentioning today are the beaches. And Miami has some of the most beautiful beaches in the United States. Some of them are Miami Beach, South Beach, Hallover Beach, Sunny Isles Beach, Virginia Key Beach, the list goes on. Literally, it goes on all up the coast of Florida, on the east side or the west. Take your pick. I almost forgot. There's one more that I want to mention, and this by far beats probably everything that I have just said, and it is that Florida residents do not pay state income tax. They only pay federal tax no additional state income tax. If this doesn't beat everything I just said, I literally don't know what will. But this is an amazing thing and that's probably why more than 900 people daily are moving to the state of Florida. That's crazy, that blows my mind. If you have any questions about Miami in any specific area, feel free to reach out. Again, I've lived here my entire life, over 30 years. I'm a realtor here in Miami, Florida and my name is Angie Blanco. I'll catch you on the next one.